and and that's a, a different type of, of function. It's kind of a numerical one, but this one is mostly text, and so you can see stuff like that. Now, let's see. <clears throat> let's change that to uh, something like three less than x less than five. Now, uh, I will not go through this option because my substring s n one is not equal to x. Actually, substring s n one one is equal to three, so I will not be going through this option, I'm going to go through the else. And else says, okay, find this px. And that px is equal to 3. That's the first element, right? And and then let's find pl. Is pl equal to... Is equal... Or, or where... Actually, we find string means where in this statement... I got the list and I got two and four. So if I got two and four, <coughs> that means PL is equal to two. And so the next if says, okay, if PL is equal to minus one, this would be the case only if there is no less than or equal, I'm sorry, less than a symbol in the string. And so that is not the case. So we go to here. And so the next question is, is the length of PL equal one? Well, PL is not equal to one, it has a length of two. So that will not be true either, so we got to go to else. And then in else, we're going to be here and saying control. Okay, the first element is a 3. The first relationship is less than or equal. The second element here would be... I'm missing a term in there. I was asking for about some for some x in there, uh, which uh, um, it's, it's not it's not working properly. What happened is I went the wrong way. I don't need to calculate this. I am here. If the length of PL equal one. Uh, and PL is actually not equal to 1, so this is not going to be the case. It's going to be this one. And so X1 is this one, and X2 is this one. Oh, okay, so try to convert to number this one. So again, an, an mistake in here, and, and this is how you can find your mistakes by looking at actual expressions. But I need to be make sure because they also seem to work okay while I was doing it. I may be going in the wrong way in the in the step by step operation because this one is not working properly. However, if I use this statement at S and then I calculate the function S type of this statement. I get the result fine, so I, I'm, I must be misinterpreting the path of the program here. I just wanted to show you that this is an example of a function where I use heavily the um, the functions that uh, had to do with strings, and I use string length, string split, string join, string length again, substring, string to number, substring, substring, find string, find string, find string, substring. I mean, string to number, substring, string to number, substring. Uh, what else? String to number, substring, string to number, substring. A lot of string to number, substring. And then when I'm done going through all the uh, possible cases, I report a uh, vector with the type of relationship. If there's any value to the left of the x, and what relationship it is with to the x, what is the second relationship to the x, and what is the second value of x. And as I mentioned, this produces one of these five types. This was the problem that we just presented right here. And then I can pass that information on to the probability calculation and depending on the type of relationship and whether the probability is discrete or continuous, I can calculate the probability. The issue here was to present a function that um, that, that is, um, is, is used or uses a lot of string uh, functions. By the way, this function is available in the plugin. I'm going to create a new worksheet. I believe I have it here, but uh, not, not the plugin, sorry. 
in the snippet that is called SNG functions that was available in video 517 and that function will be under functions prob d and prob c for probability calculations the first function is the function s type and then the probability d is probability for discrete probability for continuous and the first thing i do is calculate s type and then split that r into its component and then go calculate the probability for discrete or for continuous in this case and so that's what i wanted to present for this particular video